Hey guys, so this is kind of a multi-store video. Um, I have a bag of stuff I went and got from Michaels. This is not a grab bag, this is stuff I purchased. I have a bag of stuff from Dollar Tree. And then I have a few items from Walmart. So, these are all items that I purchased for my art. So, Michaels first. Um, they had these cute little wooden trays, and I thought it would be adorable to paint in the base, cover it with resin, but leave all this wood, and make some cute little, like, jewelry trays, maybe, or change trays to put right inside, put your keys in. Um, the clearance section, they had these masks. I got three of them. They were 27 cents a piece. Um, so I'm going to try to pour on them. They are really slick plastic, so I think I'm going to spray paint a coat first, then let it dry, and then pour on. Um, I got some Mod Podge. I am going to see if this can be used in place of pouring mediums or Floetrol. Um... I just want to test it and see, so we'll be doing a test of that, so I did purchase that. And then the last item, last item from Michaels, is the Createology Design a Puzzle. Um, there's 18 of these puzzles in here. They're 8 by 5 and a half, and they're put together, but I want to see if I can pour on them and then take them apart and see if they still work as puzzles. If so, this is a really good deal because um, there's 18 puzzles in here. Um, they feel pretty sturdy, so I'm hoping they work. Um, and I got them for $3.97 for 18 of them, so that's really cheap. Plus, it's 216 pieces total, so you could even take multiples of these and put together to make one larger puzzle. But I think these would be good to test and see if it works, and if it does, I'm going to go grab a couple more containers of these because they were really cheap. So that's Michael's. Okay, Dollar Tree. First thing I got was alcohol and a squirt bottle to put my alcohol in because I want to test that out. I've seen some people do that. Then I got a plastic bowl. Um, so this is a garden dish from the floral section. But I want to see if I can pour in the difference between the plastic and the pouring on the glass. And then these little two-pack condiment bottles, they're not really little. They're actually good sized. I mean, they're good sized. Um, I got five two-packs, so I got ten of them. And I think I'm going to try to go back every week and buy at least five packs until I have enough for all of the colors that I have. I am sorry for the background noise. Bill is being obnoxious with his TV. So, with all of these, so yeah, we have all that. And then, I went to Walmart because you guys know I'm always trying to test new things out for you guys. And I got a new paint. It's a Waverly, I'm trying to, Waverly Inspiration Super Premium High Performance Paint. These are two ounces, and I got Kelly Green, um, Sunshine Yellow, Peacock Blue, and then, because I wanted to do a peacock pour and I needed like a lighter brown, almost orange color, and they didn't have it in the high performance semi gloss, I got the matte Waverly chalk in pumpkin. Um, I'm trying to get the light to focus. So, we're going to use these colors to do a peacock pour. So, these are really awesome, and I can't wait to test this paint and see how it does. So, that was kind of my haul. Um, from those three stores and I can't wait to try different stuff out especially the Mod Podge as a pouring medium I'm really excited about trying that out hopefully you guys can hear me over the TV it's in a different room but he's got it up really loud so sorry for that guys <laughs> so 
I hope you guys are excited about some of these experiments that are coming up, and we'll see how they go. Thank you, guys.